everyone. I just wanted to talk to y'all today about hair growth and I wanted to share my main favorite. Um, first, as far as hair growth is, is concerned, I know I have in the title of the video um, how to grow 4B, 4C hair fast, but this can apply to any hair type. Uh, I have here a bottle of um, concentrated pre-digested protein pills and I've been taking these for a couple of months and they're good for if you want extra protein in your diet and I have noticed since I have been taking them that my hair is stronger and the key to having um, good hair growth is to have strong hair. So I started taking these. I ordered these from Amazon and they, let me see, they're a thousand milligrams and they are um, basically they're essential free amino acids for balanced protein nutrition. So if you're not getting like enough protein in your diet, these are good to take. Like I know some people are into, um, are like vegetarians or they are vegan and sometimes necessarily, especially if you're a vegan, you might not be getting all the protein that you need. So this is a good um, supplement to get your um, protein in. And on the bottle, it recommends that you take one for each meal. So I take I took one this morning when I ate breakfast and I um, generally try to take one or two a day so with well, that and then also um, good for um, like not necessarily I wouldn't say hair growth but if for some reason if you're experiencing um, more than normal hair shedding and when I say more than normal hair shedding Maybe if you're experiencing more than the um, 150 shed hairs a day, for some reason you're experiencing hair loss, um, it might be like an iron deficiency. So um, I also take like iron pills. So because last year I had experienced some hair loss especially right around my um, hairline and things like that and um, so basically I started taking iron pills and it it I know it helped and plus iron is good for you anyway for um, red blood cell production and things like that so I've been taking these and this is 65 milligrams of iron and I want to um, do like a whole entire video on um, growing your hair and um, hair tips and things. Especially um, normally like we, I know myself, we concentrate, I concentrate anyway, like before, um, like always trying to figure out, okay, I have to do my deep conditioner, I have to make sure I get enough moisture in my hair, I gotta make sure I do this, I gotta make sure I have the right products for moisturizing so my hair can grow. So you can just grow down to my back and be it. But no, you have to like concentrate on, um, you know, the nutrients that you're putting inside your body. Like I know myself, like in 2012, I started implementing a um, like a pescatarian diet and basically with that diet you um, eat like you know fish as your as you get your getting your protein and you don't eat other meat and you just eat like vegetables um, so I had implemented that back in um, 2012 so um, I noticed you know a difference on how I felt um, my body was feeling and things like that. And I noticed also, um, like my texture of my hair started changing. Like my hair started to get like soft, softer. So I don't know if that like really attributed to the diet itself or if it, my hair was just, hair texture was just changing. But I noticed when I implemented that diet, my hair got like softer and the texture 
of it change some. So yeah, but um in another video I wanna do like a whole video on, you know, growing your hair and the importance of diet. Um especially I want to emphasis put emphasis on nutrition and how that helps for health hair growth. Like in this video I already talked about um these um concentrated protein um pills that I take and um like I said I take take these and um basically they're pre digested and they have like amino acids and things like that. And I know it's on the back of this bottle it says um it it's um it is a protein LPP is a protein supplement of enormous value to early to people with digestive problems for individuals on special or restrictive diets and for athletes. So if you're if you like work out a lot, um this would be good too. And I understand like if you work out a lot it helps with like your hair growth as well. So um that that would be um protein. So um, I want to start up like a series about you know hair growth and then talk about some of like the myths about hair growth as well as how um, genetics you know play in hair growth as well. So if you want to for me to do like a series of videos at least three or four videos talking about you know hair growth just leave me a comment. Um, so I'm going to go right into my um, favorites, the May favorites. Um, first, I want to start with the Tarte. What is this? The eyelash, the uh, mascara. It's called Lights, Camera, Lashes. And I started, I actually started wearing this mascara back in, I want to say February or early March. Um, I had ordered, like, originally had ordered it from Amazon. And I got the mini, and I tried it, and I loved it. Like you know how, um, I, well, I noticed like with some mascara, they tend to like you wear them, and they tend to flake, and they tend to like just after a while if they're flaking and smudging and all that stuff, and I don't like that. So with this mascara, this mascara lengthens really well. And you don't have to worry about clumping. And like for as much as I do this, sometimes I rub and rub and rub like throughout the day. Like I noticed with this mascara, it doesn't give me like that fallout or the little specks or whatever you want to call it up under your eye after a while. Um, like even if I'm like rubbing, it might there might be like one little tiny speck or whatever, but it's like smudge proof. And um, it's called um, a 4-in-1 mascara, which it, it lengthens your um, your eyelashes. It curls your eyelashes, which is good. And um, it's just a really nice mascara. I was, like, so impressed. So I um, ordered a couple more um, minis from Sephora. Um, the only thing about this mascara, I know with some people, they said they don't really... Um, care for the formula because it's like a really drying formula um basically like you know how some mascaras are like really wet but this one is kind of like on the dry side and this is how the brush looks let me just show y'all right quick um so and by being like a drying formula um it lessens the chance of clumping and that's why it doesn't really it doesn't clump and um, I like how it lasts like pretty much all day like I can, I can go to work you know at 8 o'clock and then by the time I get off you know around 5 it still looks good like I'm like I'm so impressed with this Tarte uh, mascara and I'll leave in the description box um, you know the what it is like Tarte and give a uh, description of it so Okay, my next favorite is a lipstick. And I recently, I've been like really into 
um, organic um, makeup. And because I don't really want, you know, um, a whole lot of chemicals in my makeup, especially if I'm putting something on my lips or, you know, other areas of my um, face. So um, I did some research and I went to um, Sephora.com's website and I noticed that Sephora had the Bite Beauty Natural Food Grade Lipstick. And this particular lipstick, this is the packaging, and it's a food grade lipstick and it has all kinds of organic ingredients. And the whole thing behind Bite, from what I heard, is that Bite, you can actually, um, like the ingredients are so organic and so natural that you, it can get on your lips and you can lick your lips and there's, it's like, almost like, food on your lips or whatever it's like I think that's why they call it food grade <laughs> um you can lick it and you have to you don't have to worry about like chemicals going into your body because it has like a lot of organic ingredients but I'll just read some of the ingredients for you um it has organic castor seed or organic beeswax organic or whole seed oil it has organic shea butter it has um, argon kernel oil. It also has a whole wax as well as um, grapeseed oil. And it has like a whole list of other different oils and things in it. And this lipstick, you guys, is so moisturizing. Let me just pull it out and show y'all the color that I got. And when I ordered this, this was um, the limited edition, and it's um, lavender. And this is the color. And I love this color. It is so pretty. It's like a, um, a light purple color. And it's so moisturizing. I never tried a lipstick that's so moisturizing and creamy. And it's called the um, Bite Beauty Natural Food Gray Luminous Cream Lipstick. Now, when it says cream, it's so creamy. It's like putting butter on your lips and just like so smooth. I mean, I love it. I just love it, love it, love it. And um, it's, it's really good. Like, y'all, like, should try it. It's like, and like I said, I got it from Sephora.com. And it's, um, it's called Bite Beauty. And this is in lavender. It's, just, it's limited edition. So, um, if you want to get it, I'm not sure how long they will have it on, your, on their site. But you can go check it out. And it, it's so moisturizing. Like, sometimes I notice, like, some lipstick, when it says it's moisturizing, it's still kind of drying. And, like, even, like, throughout the day, it's like, it gets drier and drier and drier. But with this lipstick right here, this stuff is good. I mean, so, so good. I love it. Okay, the next favorite is this um, Brighten Facial Scrub. I hope y'all can see that. And this, I um, got this from Amazon.com. And this stuff is pretty good. Like, it brightens um, your face. I noticed it says it, it brightens. It does, it does brighten. Um, I like how, like, when I use it and I scrub it on my face, it, like, my face just feels so, so, so good. Like, I just love that. Um, and it's, it's vegan. It's sulfate-free, cruelty-free, paraben-free, PEG-free, petroleum-free, um, silicone-free, gluten-free. It won't clog your pores, and it's 100% biodegradable. And basically, it's an argon stem cell, plus um, it has a growth factor. And if y'all can see this, I don't want to squeeze it out to waste product, but it, the product is green. You can see some of it that came out on the side right here. Um, I don't like the smell too much, but I don't mind if products don't smell too well. <laughs> as long as they're effective hey I'm all good like kind of like reminds me of um, 
was that that Carol's daughter smoothie? Um, that one, the one that smells really like not too good, but it is so good and for detangling. I just love it. But um, yeah, this is kind of like like along those lines because the smell is kind of like cool, and it kind of like looks like I have to open this up for y'all. See how like it's like green and it's not very appealing looking at all. It looks like yucky parade peas. I hope y'all can see that. So, but I love this this stuff. I like how my skin feel. It feels like it's just like it just clean, very deep clean my my um face. And I use this like um at least every other day or so. So that's my next favorite. And my other favorite is the um, garlic peels, a thousand milligrams, and this is good for um, your heart. I just picked these up um, to go along with like my fish oil. So um, these are soft gels, and let me just show y'all. It's tiny, 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 tiny here. Let me see that. And you just take this with a meal and you're good to go. Um, and it's good for, you know, your heart and things to make sure everything's like pumping correctly, your heart's working properly. And I also take it with fish oil. So, yeah. So, those are um, my favorites for May. And um, like I said um, previously, Y'all can um, leave me a comment about this series, which y'all would like for me to talk about. Um, so, yeah, um, basically in my next video, I will outline more information, go into more detail about um, nutrition and, and how it affects your hair. So, yeah, so if y'all have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll put um, everything in the description box. So um, y'all have a good one. All right.